Welcome everyone back to Spider Rider Extras. Today we're gonna talk about installing a mount for my GoPro onto my uh, hybrid One Storm helmet. I'm gonna talk about the best location I feel for it based on some research I have done. Anyway, the first thing you wanna do is um, pick the location where you wanna mount it. Okay, they, they say you can mount on the top, on the side. We're gonna go with the front. Like I said, based on all my research, the front is probably the best position to mount your GoPro. So I purchased a uh, motorcycle mounting kit from Amazon, which has the articulating arm. It also has a cord that's like it's for your tether so you don't lose your very valuable GoPro or whichever camera you're using. Make sure as always that they use 3M adhesive. This is the best on the market. There's really no substitute. All right, we're gonna look here where we wanna put this. Now on this helmet, you do have the vent in the front, but I don't think this would really, I mean, it's gonna be in front of it, but like I said, you can adjust it. This is probably the best location about right here. So the first thing I wanna do is clean that area off with alcohol. Just regular rubbing alcohol. And wipe the whole area down. Let that dry for a minute. Now, anytime you use 3M adhesive, make sure you let the product cure for at least 24 hours before putting any kind of weight on it. Like I said, you don't want to lose your expensive equipment. Also, guys, while this is drying, I want to let you know about this Ice Storm helmet. I've done a review and unboxing on it in an earlier video if you want to check that out. Anytime you check out any of my videos, please make sure you subscribe so I can continue to grow my channel. Every subscription helps. All right, looks like we are dry now. So now we need to take the backing off. So it's a little tricky when you have no long fingernails. All right, there we go. Now when you put this on, you wanna press down and hold firmly for at least, I hold for a whole minute, but it can be 30 seconds, 45 seconds. And again, make sure you're in the right location, which I picked right here. And I chose like I, mentioned the articulating arm. I like it rather than just mounting straight to the um, helmet. One, on this helmet, you have the vent, so you can't mount it right here. I've seen people mount theirs here, and it really limits uh, the flexibility of positioning your GoPro. But we're going to let this bond. And like I said, it takes a good 24 hours for it to cure. Also, the mounting kit comes with a tether. Now the tether has some cheap um, adhesive and I replaced it with 3M adhesive and it mounts the same way. I'll probably mount it just probably back here. So again, I wanna make sure this is clean again and let that dry. So at the side, so I can take the backing off this mount. And it's almost dry. We'll help it along a little bit. Yeah, and the same principle, you just hold it tight. For a good 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, this uh, hybrid helmet is very nice. It can be used for dirt and street. Like I said, I have a future purchase of a UTV I'm gonna buy. I really can't wait for that, and that's one reason I bought this helmet. I didn't really care to wear goggles, so I'm hoping the shield is a good substitute for that. And of course, as you can tell, this came with just a regular 
uh, like almost like a shoestring type tether. But they also have the uh, metal tethers that have the clamps and the lock on each one. I think the metal's probably a little better. They're rubber coated so they won't damage any of your equipment. Uh, in the future, I'll be buying those. And you tie it like with this little knot there. That'll hold that position. And like I said, this is fully articulating, which I love. I'm not going to fool with it too much since it's not cured yet. But I'll mount my camera just to show you guys what it's going to look like. The GoPro is now on. As everyone can see, I think this stuff's very nice. I went ahead and connected the tether. And this has four articulation. You can move it all around, make fine adjustments. I think overall this is the best setup for your GoPro. And I highly recommend this position. So like I always say, guys, make sure you subscribe. I have a lot of views. But I mean, I just encourage people to subscribe because so I can keep sending these videos out and keep growing my uh, channel. And I do appreciate it. Everybody be safe, and I'll see you next time on Spider Rider Extras.